means for extracellular killing of microbes. That is killing without prior phagocytosis. Certain of the complement proteins are always circulating in the blood in an inactive stage. Upon activation of one of the group in response to infection or damage, these complement proteins play important role. Now we will discuss about these complement proteins. When the complement proteins are activated, there occurs a cascade in which the active proteins activate another second complement protein which activates third and so on. In this way, multiple active complement proteins are generated in the extracellular fluid of the infected area from inactive complement molecules that have entered from the blood. Since this system consists of at least 30 distinct proteins, it is extremely complex and we shall identify the roles of only a few of the individual complement proteins. Five of the active proteins generated in the complement cascade form a multi-unit protein called MAC, M-A-C, that is membrane attach complex, which embeds itself in the microbial plasma membrane and forms channels in the membrane, making it leaky. Water and salts enter the microbe, which disturbs the intracellular ionic environment and kills the microbe. In addition to supplying a means of direct killing of microbes, the complement system serves other important functions in inflammation. Some of the activated complement molecules along the cascade cause either directly or indirectly by stimulating the release of other inflammatory mediators, vasodilation, that is increased microvessel permeability to protein and chemotaxis. Also, one of the complement molecules called C3B acts as an opsonin to attach the phagocyte to the microbe. As we shall see later, Antibodies, a class of proteins secreted by lymphocytes, are required to activate the very first complement protein C1 in the full sequence known as the classical complement, but lymphocytes are not involved in non-specific inflammation. How then is the Cut. <clears throat> One of the complement molecules, C3B, acts as an opsonin to attach the phagocyte to the microbe. As we shall see later, antibodies, a class of proteins secreted by lymphocytes, are required to activate the very first complement protein C1 in the full sequence known as the classical complement but lymphocytes are not involved in non-specific inflammation. How then is the complement sequence initiated during non-specific inflammation? The answer is that there is an alternate complement pathway. One that is not antibody dependent and bypasses C1. The alternate pathway is initiated as the result of interactions between carbohydrates on the surface of the microbe and inactive complement molecules beyond C1. These interactions lead to the formation of C3B and the activation of the subsequent complement molecules in the pathway. However, 
not 